Hello Gisada fam, Gisada Nation, kamusta kayo today? So today's video is something very exciting I would say kasi gagawa tayo ng bagong series sa channel ko which is I will share with you all my Instagram secrets. As you all know, Instagram is life for me. Gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo yung process, how I shoot my content, especially on Instagram. Kasi pag sa YouTube, parang feeling ko ibang mundo siya. Sa Instagram, ibang tao ako doon. Medyo palaban ako doon. Medyo serious ako. Para kanyari, intimidating. Pero sa YouTube naman, di ba? Alam nyo naman na ganito lang ako. <laughs> So for today's video, I will share with you 10 steps to shooting the perfect OOTD. So ready na ba kayo guys? Let's go! Okay, so ang first natin is picking the right outfit. Nako, importante talaga yan. Especially, pag mahilig kayo mag-OOTD kasi very crucial to. Kasi dito magre-reflect yung personal style nyo, yung taste nyo. And of course, dapat hindi kayo pipili or magsasot ng outfit that does not define you. Ako talaga, before when I started, nagbabaon ako ng damit na feeling ko kasi patok siya sa audience ko. Pero yung mga outfits na hindi ko pinag-iisipan, yung medyo alam kong effortless. Yung parang nagpapaisip ako minsan na popost ko ba to? Parang walang kwenta yung suot ko. Pero yung pa yung pinaka bumibenta, yung pinaka pinakamaraming likes. Siyempre kasi it's something very relatable and of course, wearable as well. So, samahan nyo ako. Pipili ako ngayon ng aking OOTD or outfit of the day. Let's go! Welcome to my bedroom. Welcome to the Casa Gisada bedroom. Diyos ko po, ito na lang sunusot ko araw-araw. Puro corduroy. Ito yung parang uniform ko. Ngayon, parang lahat ng corduroy na kulay meron ako. Meron akong olive green, navy blue, parang tan, turquoise. Meron pa isang navy blue. Ito naman hindi corduroy pero papunta na dun. <laughs> parang graphic shirt dap. <laughs> oh, kalat. Sorry. Napakakala. <laughs> Sige, dyan kayo. Yun naman ang hindi nakikita ng mga tao. Yan, yan. Dyan, dyan kayo. Okay, mahulog ha. Dito nakalagay lahat ng mga aking mga graphic tees. Okay ba to? Ah, feeling ko itong black. Yan. Ito na lang. Para mount. Na tayo ng pants. Pwede ko suotin to. Diba? Kaya lang gamit na gamit na. Parang every week or every two days, suot ko tong pantalo na to. Itong gray. Ay, kaya itong gray. Tignan natin. Or itong unique loko. Or pwede rin tong gray. Okay. Let's see kung ano mas bagay. Kung itong gray trousers or itong parang checkered na plaid. Of course, very important sa akin ang watch. So, all of my watches here are from Lacoste. Ayan. So, lahat ata ng kulay meron ako. And accessories, very important to sa akin. This year lang ako nahilig sa mga necklaces na ganito. So, I'm gonna wear one for sure. And then, ito, hindi mawawala ang aking mga bracelets. So, now we go to the shoes. Pili tayo ng shoes na bagay. Parang ayaw ka ng white. <laughs> mga chinelas lahat. Uh, brown? Hindi, kasi bitin yung pants ko ngayon eh. So, ayaw ko makita yung white socks ko. So, ilalaban natin tong Dior na high cut shoes ko. So, this is the final look. I changed the pants. Wala siya sa options ko. Pero nakita ko tong parang medyo straight cut lang. Hindi siya super fitting. So, medyo loose lang siya. And crop pa rin siya. So, medyo kita pa rin yung high cut nating shoes. Medyo dark yung outfit. Especially pag wala to. Tong corduroy na to. So, I made sure to add this just to balance it out. Usually, I would wear jeans. Pero, kota na tayo sa jeans. Sa IG ko. Kung nakikita nyo, lagi kong suot yun. And then, ito yung bag. Parang perfect to kasi. Dark, tapos light, tapos dark. So, umaangat pa rin yung bag. di ba Okay, so kung happy na kayo sa OOTD nyo, punta na tayo sa ating second point which is choosing the right tool. You can use your phone for your OOTD shots but as for me, I still use my mirrorless camera. So this is what I'm using, the Fujifilm XT20. I've been using this for so long, hindi ko na alam, parang 2 years na ata. Nag-upgrade din ako from an XT10. But for today, I will upgrade! To my XT30! I finally got it. I just got it yesterday. And go lang tayo ng quick unboxing bago tayo mag-shoot para magamit ko na rin tong camera. This is the box. So I chose the black body. Ganda! Grabe. Ang tawag nila dito is the Little Giant kasi same sensor siya at saka processor. As an X-T3 camera, yung Fujifilm X-T3, super ganda nun. Pero pag X-T3, parang super pang legit na photographer siya. Pero isa yun sa mga dream cameras ko. Sana hopefully soon maka-upgrade ako into that. But this one is super nice na because I can use it every day just to capture my OOTDs. Especially pag nasa events ako or pag nagtatravel. Very crucial to sa akin tong camera. So, ang ganda na itsura niya, diba? Kasi may mga ibang SLR na parang panira ng forma. So, ito ang ganda. It's still looks very classic, vintage, diba? Super retro nung vibe niya. So, I really like Fujifilm in general kasi marami na rin siya mga film simulation so you don't really have to edit or post-process your photos anymore kasi marami kang options from there. For a time, yun yung mga ginagamit ko talaga for my photos. Bumili rin ako ng lens! 16 to 55. Mega, siyang ganda. 
Ang okay dito, mas zoom mo siya. So, pwede siyang 16, which is wide. And then, you can zoom it. So, perfect siya pang travel. Pero ganyan lang siya. Medyo bulgy na siya. Pero, ayun. Kung gusto yung maganda. Konting sa creepy siya, guys! Okay, so, I'm here right now with Hezzy. Mag-shoot kami ngayon before my meeting. And, ang third point naman natin is scouting for the perfect location. Diba, Hezzy? Very important yan. Pero, at the same time, huwag niyo masyado isipin. Actually, hindi nga dapat super ganda nung location nyo kasi ma-outshine kayo. Mas maganda yung background kesa sa inyo. Kapayag ba kayong ganun? Hindi <laughs> siya, pero hindi, di ba? But also, make sure it complements your outfit and also your feed. Di ba? Kung may yes. minemaintain kayong feed or color palette, yun yung piliin nyo. So, for me, medyo wala naman ako minemaintain. I usually stay away from mga vibrant colors, di ba? I don't... Usually, I go for mga muted background. Usually plain, especially when I'm here in the city. So, hanap tayo ng location. Let's go! So, naghanap kami ng location ni Hezzy. Okay naman tong brick wall na to. Minsan, nakikiupo lang kami sa mga coffee shop. Pero parang okay yung wall na yun. Parang mas bagay sa outfit. Kasi okay. plain lang siya. Okay. Okay, so we tried shooting here sa background na to and Okay ba? Parang hindi ganun ka-powerful. Parang hindi ganun ka-powerful. So, ganun talaga. Huwag kayong ma-de-dishearted. Huwag kayong mawawala ng gana pag ganun. Kasi, trial and error yan. Diba? Hindi naman parating nakuha natin yung shot na gusto natin. Ang okay, mabilis na kami mag-shoot ni Hezzy. So, pag di namin trip, next na kami. Next location. Kasi alam naman na namin yung gusto namin with the picture, how it would look like. So, yun. Ganun. May naririnig kaming guard. May radio. May radio. May guard na paparating. <laughs> Ganyan naman yun ang mga struggle natin. Okay. It's clear. Ay, yan na siya. Oh no. Ah, Facebook lang po. <laughs> busy, busy. Busy, busy. <laughs> Okay, so ang fourth naman natin is have someone to take your photo. Diba? Very no-brainer yan. Kailangan mo ng photographer. It can be your friend. It can be your parent. It could be kung sino man yung kasama nyo for that day. Pero as for me, kasama ko si Hezzy ngayon. He has been shooting me for seven years. Seven years na grabe, diba? So, nakuha niya na talaga yung tamang angle ko. Dati kasi may time na parang nag-frustrate ano na kami. 30 minutes. Hindi namin alam gagawin natin. Ano? Oo, parang one hour. Hindi <laughs> naman one hour. Pero medyo ganun kalala. Matagal kami mag-shoot. Pero ngayon, pwede mo nang matagal na ang five minutes per outfit. I think okay. the key with that is parang we communicate. Parang kapag um, okay yung shot, I tell David na, Oy, that's good, that's nice, or do this, oh. do that. At pagpangit, uh, honest Wag ka may hiya. Wag ka may hiya. Yung chan mo. Uy, inhale. <laughs> Uy, ang laki yung ilong mo dyan. Kitang-kita yung butas ng ilong mo. So, wag kayo may hiya. Also, kung feeling nyo nahihiya yung subject nyo, i-hype nyo sila. Yes. So, yes, beautiful. Yes, ganun, yes. ganun kayo. Okay, so next naman natin is finding the right angle. I think very important to kasi dito papasok ang creativity ng photographer and also syempre dapat nagko-communicate kayo sa inyong subject. Depende yan sa model kung gusto niya ba high angle, low angle. Ako kasi gusto ko low angle kasi yes. nakakatangkad siya. Ano pa ba? Mas flattering siya for me. Tsaka pag low angle, kita talaga lahat ng details. Like, kita yung shoes, From diba? Shoes yung bag. To your hair. Yes. Kita ang kita lahat. So, pag high angle naman, Tignan nyo, parang di okay sa ilong ko. Nakalapan siya ng ilong. May ibang tao naman na napaka-perfect. Bagay na bagay sa kanila yung high angle. Pero yung iba gusto na frontal lang, hindi ma-arte. So, it's really up to your own preference naman. Ayo, dapat alam mo yung profile mo, alam mo yung angle mo. Kasi, pag alam mo na lahat, parang sobrang mas babilis lang yung buong process of shooting your OOTD. Actually, madali lang naman talaga mag-shoot ng OOTD. Basta alam nyo lang kung ano yung pangit at maganda. Kasi at the end of the day, kayo ang mag-decide. Diba? I'm lucky with David kasi siya for the 7 years or 10 years you've been vlogging. Mm. Alam na niya yung angle niya so nakatulong siya na mapabilis and kunyari may talaga. specific angle na kami na gusto. We work on that. Okay, ang next naman natin is know what to highlight. I think this is very important. Yes. I mean ako, may ako mag-shoot ng OOTD and since fashion ang focus ko, gusto ko talaga kita yung mga details like from my necklace, yung bag, depende kung ano gusto yung focus. Babalikan natin yung kaninang point natin or previous point which is all about angles. angles yeah. Doon siya papasok. Diba? Guys, minsan mahirap na kunyari, ang dami yung 
uh, gusto kong i-highlight. Uh, nalilito yung audience nyo. So, maganda na marami kayong details pero you know which one to really highlight on yes. your phone. Okay guys, so I am back. Which brings us to our seventh step which is choosing the perfect shot. Ayan. So, yun yung masayang part for me. The editing, the post-processing. So, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys the process. Madali lang naman siya. So, I have here my Fujifilm X-T30, my laptop, and my memory card reader. Pero guys, nasa sa inyo talaga yan. Kung gusto nyo naman mag-edit, sa phone nyo lang. Walang problema. Kahit phone lang yung gamitin yung pang picture. Ako kasi feeling ko pumapangit yung quality pag sa phone ko ine-edit. So I make sure to always transfer the photos here first sa laptop. Okay, so kunin natin ang memory card natin dito. Lagay natin sa ating memory card reader. Okay, so ito yung mga pictures kanina. Ayan, transfer ko lang lahat. Ang dami. Ayan. Okay guys, so as you can see, medyo marami yung pictures. Pero usually, hindi naman ako ganito mag-shoot. Medyo na-pressure lang ako today kasi <laughs> binavlog ko yung process. So dito papasok yung selection natin. As you can see, I took a lot of options. Pero lahat naman sila on the same spot. But merong whole body, may low angle, may half body. Iba-iba siya. So what you do is just delete all the photos na hindi nyo trip. And then edit nyo na lang yung mga gusto nyo. Okay, so now that I've selected and narrowed down the photos na gusto ko talaga, ang natira na lang na photos is... Seven. Seven photos. So as you guys can see here, there are a lot of variations. We have sitting down, standing up, whole body shot, half body shot, low angle. Ayan. Dito mas kita yung shoes. Then dito naman, kita yung bag. So iba-iba. So now we go to our next step which is post-processing. This is my favorite part kasi ito yung time na pwede kang mag-experiment with colors. Yan, so import lang natin. For post-processing, I use Adobe Lightroom. Meron namang Adobe Lightroom na app sa phone. Pwede rin sa phone. Tapos pwede nyo ilipat yung mga presets or filters sa phone nyo. Pero I have yet to research kung paano gawin yun. So, baka next time, ito na ako mag-edit. Hindi ko alam. Pero as for now, I edit everything on my laptop. Kasi mas malaki yung screen, mas na-enjoy ko siya. And then as you can see here, on the left, dito yung mga presets. So, may DG1, DG2, DG3. May food, akong filter. And then, ito yung lagi ko yung nagamit. DG Zero. Yan yung parang favorite kong preset. Templado ko na yan. So, halos lahat ng photos ko ganyan. So, click mo lang siya once. Yan. DG0. Automatic na yan. Yan. Pero, syempre, iba-iba naman ng photos. Iba-iba yung composition, yung lighting situation. So, hindi lagi nag-work tong preset na to for that particular photo. So, tinutweak ko lang siya ng onte para bagay siya sa photo. So, as for here, parang medyo yellow siya. No? Yan. Before, after. Tanggalin natin ang contrast. Bawasan natin yung highlights. Tapos, yung shadows, pwede pa natin. Pero pwede natin bawasan. Yung yellow, ayoko kasi masyadong matingkad. So, tanggalin ba natin? Ay, hindi. Yan. Tinanggal ko na lang yung saturation ng yellow. Yun. Happy na ako dito. Okay, there. And then, once you're happy, select all mo lang. And then, you export them. There you go. Export. We go now to our next step which is of course uploading the photo and putting the caption. Kasi syempre diba more than the photo dapat okay din yung caption mo para makapag-interact ka sa audience mo. I go to this app called Unum. Unum, tama ba yung pagkasabi ko? But yes, this is the app I usually go to before I upload on my Instagram. Yung mga ibang tao, wala naman silang pakialam sa feed nila kung ano yung flow. Pero ako, medyo may pakialam pa rin talaga ako eh. And then, check lang natin kung bagay ba. Siguro ito. Okay, mukhang bagay naman. <laughs> Kasi tignan po, yung katabi niya, light. So, itong picture na to, dark. Tignan mo yung nasa baba niya. Light rin. So, parang it's the perfect balance. So, tamang-tama, di ba? Upload na tayo ngayon, guys. It's currently 4pm. Okay naman. I think it's a decent time to upload. It's usually 10am or 8pm. Masa never lumalagpas doon. So, ito ang napili kong photo. Okay, so ito yung nakakautal na part, yung caption. Medyo mahirap mag-caption talaga. Ah, uh, ang pwede sabihin. Yun na lang. Corduroy season. Yun na lang. <laughs> Corduroy season. Season. Wala kwenta. Ah, alam ko na. Pag wala ko makaption, ang ginagawa ko is pinapromote ko yung YouTube ko. New vlog will be up tomorrow. Tapos, of course, credit your photographer. Tag natin si Hezi. 
Okay, so now we go to our 10th and final step which is post your photo and interact with your audience. Kahit sobrang onte or sobrang dami na nag-comment, tinatry ko talaga yung best ko mag-reply sa kanila. It says a lot about you and how you value your audience, di ba? Kunyari, nag-post ka ng picture, ano, ganun-ganun na lang. <laughs> I-consume lang nila yung content mo, tapos na. So always try to interact with them. Pag may tanong sila, mag-reply kayo. And through there, mabibuild nyo talaga yung profile nyo. Mas matutuwa ka and mas ma-attach ka sa Instagrammer or sa creator nyo yun. Pag alam mong nagre-reply siya, kasi alam mong mabait siya like me. Ha! Alam mong nag engage siya with his or her audience, di ba? And so, reply-reply ka na lang dyan. Pwede namang, ayan lang, hug-hug. Tapakan mo ko. Okay. Ayan. So, thanks. Yeah, thank you lang. Ayan. Suntukin mo sila. Wow. So, guys, there you have it. Those are my 10 steps to creating the perfect OOTD slash Instagram photo. So, sana nag-enjoy kayo. Sana may natutunan kayo even though very self-explanatory naman lahat ng mga sinabi ko. But anyway, sobrang excited ako na gawing series to sa YouTube channel ko. Onting series lang naman siya. Onting episodes lang. So, siguro yung next episode ko about this is gonna be how I edit my photos. Finally, gagawin ko na siya. I'm gonna share with you kung paano ko tinitimpla or kung ano talaga yung mga presets na ginagamit ko sa mga photos ko. Yun. So, I'm gonna give a more in-depth explanation on that one. And also, ang dami rin nagko-comment na paano ba daw mag-post sa mga photos. Medyo nahihiya ako kasi parang, ha? Parang wala naman ako mga post sa mga pictures ko. But I guess that is something that you guys would like to see. So please do let me know in the comment section kung gusto nyo nga makita yon sa channel ko. And also, kung may mga suggestions pa kayo, feel free to just comment it down below. So ang saya ko lang kasi nag-grow na yung community natin. Nag-grow na ang ating subscribers. So thank you so much sa mga nanonood ng vlogs. Kahit ang lakas maka-artista nung speech kong to. <laughs> But anyway, sobrang na-appreciate ko talaga. So please, huwag kayong magsasawa. Comment na kayo ng comment. View lang kayo ng view. Kahit di kayo mag-comment, basta mag-view kayo. It really makes me happy. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, this is David Gison and I will see you guys next time. Bye!